like we're on the road to WrestleMania, but instead of driving ourselves, we decided or like rent like an exotic car. No, no, no. We're gonna fucking take a Greyhound. Welcome to the demon level. Body slam you through the rubble. Hosted by your demon diva, Queen of Sad Style Lisa. Champions and main events. Hot and cold and all your questions. Right here, so tune right in. One, two, three, we got you pinned. Hi there, my little demons and divas. Bienvenidos. Welcome back to my channel. Que la que hay, mi gente. Tamo activado. What is going on? It is I, Isa, aka the Demon Diva. And today I am here to talk about this week's episode of Raw. And when I tell you that I struggled to find five things that I enjoyed about this episode, I mean, I almost didn't even make the show, but I have made a commitment to you. So, I found I found five things. <laughs> and I promise one of them is not AJ Styles hair. I wanted to just put that AJ Styles hair, but bunny slides, you know, like some dumb shit because if they're not putting any effort into writing a script for Monday Night Raw, why should I put effort into my review of Monday Night Raw, right? Anyways, before I get started, guys, if you haven't done so yet, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. If you would like to follow me in any of my other social media, it is at NYC Demon Diva on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all of the social medias that I am active on are listed on the description box below. And I am part of the Wrestling Inc. podcast. You guys can catch me over there live on YouTube, Periscope, Instagram. I don't even know what we go live on. But you can catch me over there live immediately after SmackDown on Friday nights or later on on your favorite platform, podcast platform. So make sure to go over there and show some love. I am so excited to get that opportunity and so far I am loving it. So, anyways, <sighs> Monday Night Raw. Y eso, y eso. Wait, this is not my Spanish version, but oh my god. And we are on the road to WrestleMania. I don't know what is happening. I don't know if we're, I, I feel like we're on a Greyhound. Like, we're on the road to WrestleMania, but instead of driving ourselves, we decided or like rent like an exotic car. No, no, no. We're gonna fucking take a Greyhound. And you don't even know if it's been disinfected, so you're like on the road, but you don't even want to sit down. So it's like a 12-hour drive, and you're like this the whole time because, you know, you don't, you don't really know what's going on. You have your mask on. You're uncomfortable. You don't want to get out when it stops because, obviously... The pit stop is just as gross as the Greyhound bus. Like, that's the kind of road to WrestleMania that we're on. If this episode of Raw is anything like what the road to WrestleMania is going to be like. <laughs> but, I went ahead and I really dug hard within my heart. And giving you five moments that I enjoyed. The whole thing is, like, if it's a three-hour show, should we really struggle to find five fucking good things about it? No. They have to be at least five good things about it, but they really weren't. But, here we go. Number one. Oh, God. <laughs> Nia Jax will forever go down in wrestling history. At least now she won't be known as the woman who injures everybody. Now she will be known as my whole. The woman that screamed my hole in the middle of a match. Why would she yell that out loud? <laughs> Listen, I gotta admit, I laughed and I saw so many memes about it and it was trending on Twitter and I even saw the New York Post posted a story about it today and I'm like, I cannot believe this shit. Like, you know, some sometimes you try to I don't even know. I don't even know. I had text messages from people that don't watch wrestling asking me about Nia Jax's hole today. Why? <laughs> Listen, I thought it was funny. I don't want to think about Nia Jax's hole, but it was funny. That being said, good for Lana. Lana got the win. She put her through a table. She outsmarted her. <laughs> and I think Miro Rusev went on Twitter and said she finally got the push that she deserved. But did her whole get the push that she deserved? Hmm? Just saying. At number two. I swear to God I heard a voice. At number two, Bad Bunny is getting comfortable, guys. And 
I am here. I am living for it. I think it was um, Simone, the rock's daughter, last night who tweeted, Bad Bunny is just happy to be here. And that's everything. Exactly. Bad Bunny is a huge wrestling fan. He is living the dream that we all have. And you can just tell he's so full of joy. First of all, they added Pyro to his entrance. Hello, Bad Bunny. My bad. I gotta change my battery. Why do I always do this? Why can't I just fucking change the battery before I start talking? You can just see him getting more comfortable with what like what he's doing. He's happy to be there. He does a lot for Damien Priest. I thought he paid a little homage to Eddie Guerrero who I happens to be his favorite. He has dropped Eddie Guerrero's name on so many songs and um, I think he was wearing the Eddie Guerrero shirt in a couple of music videos. Like, I'm telling you, he's such a huge fan and I'm just here for it and yeah, don't worry. I have a video coming up explaining why we should embrace Bad Bunny because I'm tired of people not embracing him. Well, I understand that you might not know who he is or his music is not for you. It's like we want wrestling to be cool and when we get an actual really cool person, God, I have a hair in my face. Okay, we want wrestling to be cool and when we get a real cool person, Maybe not by your standards, but Bad Bunny is actually a cool, hip, current star. Then we just like respond to them that way. So why would celebrities want to work with us, you know? Whatever. I do have a little concern. And that concern is the fact that it has been rumored that he's going to pair up with Damien Priest at WrestleMania to wrestle the Miss and Morrison. Which I think is great and I think they'll, they, they'll protect him. But I am afraid of that storyline having to be pushed for two months how are we going to do that that's a long time to push that storyline maybe we'll pause it for a little bit now that elimination chamber is coming up and the miss is on that match but i can't i don't want it to hurt damian priest in the long run to be stuck in a storyline just to put bad bunny on a match at wrestlemania because i do love them both but <laughs> bad bunny is gonna you know move on from wrestling and become i don't know spotify's number one streamed artists with the number one global album currently so i need i need them to get creative and the creative team of monday night raw is my main concern because i do think that raw is a that it has a stacked roster both shows do all shows nxt as well so i feel like the issue here the disconnect here is not the talent is the creative team or the talent saying hey this is not a good idea for my character this is not what i will really do i don't know but that being said i don't trust creative to be able to keep this interesting all the way through wrestlemania at number three is the best troll in the world <laughs> Why did Shane come back? I mean, I like seeing Shane. I, I, I am a huge Shane McMahon fan. I think he's awesome. And I like seeing him and I feel like this has to be... I mean, if it's not... If it's nothing and they really just brought him back to announce that and that's all we see of him, definitely super troll move. But I do feel like this is going somewhere. Don't you guys think that? Like, he kind of like teased Adam Pierce, like, oh yeah, you're doing a great job, right? And then he left. He kind of like had a little bit of a rub with Drew McIntyre. Like, it's got to lead up to something, right? You know what? I'm not going to get my hopes up, but I just feel like it, that's not all there is to it. I did also love the moment that he had with Omas when he was leaving and AJ Styles was coming out with him because, you know, of course, some of us who didn't drink the Kool-Aid remember Raw Underground. I liked Raw Underground. So it was good to have the little nod even though we can't fucking talk about it. It's like Fight Club, but... We really can't talk about it. <laughs> um, and, the intercon and the WWE title being in the line for the Elimination Chamber main event is interesting. I'm invested. Um, does Drew lose us? I don't know. I don't know what happens, but it just is some kind of stakes. You know what I mean? Because like, can you really count the Goldberg defense as a title defense for Drew McIntyre? No. No, like Roman Reigns is over here on SmackDown freaking killing himself with every match and, and, and Drew McIntyre gets two minutes with Goldberg? I don't think so. Bust your ass at the Elimination Chamber, bro. Bust your ass. At number four, Keith Lee versus Matt Riddle. I thought it was a good match. I love seeing Keith Lee back. Um, I cannot take Matt Riddle seriously and that hurts my heart because I'm, I'm a big MMA fan and I hate that there's so much that you could do with this guy and he's talking about air butts, I think he said he watched and all that. Um, but the match was good. It was good to see Keith Lee back. Like I said, glad he's healthy. And he's in the United States title um, picture. Which is great, great, you know. But why is Matt Riddle in it though? 
Why? He's been murdered by Bobby Lashley on multiple occasions. I, I don't understand why he gets another title shot. Hopefully it's just to take the pin, but an honorable mention is that I feel like the person that looks the most badass in Raw right now is Bobby Lashley. So don't have him lose, not even to Keith Lee. So I don't know, maybe Bobby Lashley kills Riddle again so we still protect Lee, but I feel like we've done that with Keith Lee so many times where he just doesn't lose, but he also doesn't win, you know? So, God, I just went on a rant there. The whole point to that is that it's good to see Keith Lee back, but Bobby Lashley, man, they're building him up for something awesome. I cannot believe, I get it, he's gonna defend his US title, but he should have been in the fucking Elimination Chamber. I think it's cool that he's former WWE champions, but it's just like, it should be like, you know how much awesome it would have been like, you're gonna have to defend your title inside the Elimination Chamber against five hungry stars who have never gotten to be WWE champion and that's their dream. Oh. I would have probably just in my pants over that too. Now, the thought of AJ Styles winning is awesome. I don't think they're gonna let Randy win at the Miz. No way. Jeff Hardy, he's just jumping off something. So, you know, I don't know where we're going with Sheamus. I've been saying they're building up Sheamus for something. I don't know. I don't know. And at number five, I have Edge promo. And the reason why I have that promo is because, like, I feel like people don't underestimate the talent that it takes for that man to come out there advance no storyline make no choice and still be one of the best part of the show like that takes talent this dude should be selling cars for a living because like we ate it up and he did nothing nothing because all he did was tell us that he was gonna wait until the elimination chamber to make his choice so no choice was made and then he went on about how much he worked this past week but you didn't really do anything you know <laughs> but overall it was a very 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 bad episode of monday night raw it was very hard to find the five things that um i enjoy but i guess the pyro in bad bunny's entrance and nia jack screaming my whole make up for whatever that show was it feels so random so many things going on no alexa bliss doesn't make sense for alexa bliss to even come back right now randy's again in the wwe title picture with the um, elimination chamber will she make an appearance at the chamber i don't know i have so many questions let me know if you had any moments that you enjoy let me know how your haul is today <laughs> don't forget to hit like subscribe and share and until next time guys adios Mwah. Yeah, demon diva, quite the screamer, cursing teacher, hurt and please ya, spot her out in any of y'all arena, break the meter, get way too yeah. excited, watch her boot up, yeah. if the lady could, she get lady wood yeah. and tell you know who yeah. we can yeah. boot up, yeah. I get a girl that's a low, wrestling down at the rope.